Well, it's hard to come up with a favorite accent, but I do have many different favorite ones. Like the most, I'm not sure, but I definitely like many different accents in uh, of English. They are English accents, but... Um, For example? Well, there are accents such as Nigerian English, Irish English, or even some more exotic foreign sounding accents of people who don't speak um, English as their native language. Um, I like French accent. It is quite heavy though. Lots of people don't like it, but I kind of like it. I think I don't have a favorite accent um, because I do like English in general, uh, but I do like to try to understand where people are from, from their accent. Yeah. And it's not easy all the time. As you said, there are some accents that are easier to spot. For example, the, the French accent or the Italian accent. Um, also, the Spanish accent is quite yeah, the easy. Spanish one. Um, Do but you mean from Spain or from a Spanish-speaking country? I think a Spanish-speaking country. Then okay. I think it's harder then to distinguish. Oh, he's from Spain or uh, he's from Peru or he's from. Uh, Mexico. Sure, sure. Mm, but I think it's a good exercise as well to try to spot accents. For sure. Do you think that spotting them can help you understand English better? It can make you a better listener? Um, well, I think it's not spotting itself that help you become a better listener, but when you practice spotting accents, means you are listening to people speaking different accents, and that's what helps you to become a better listener. Because, of course, in the world, we don't have just a British accent rather than the American, and if you focus too much on one accent, then it's gonna be hard to understand someone who speaks with a different one. So it's a good exercise to listen to movies uh, from different countries in the mother tongue, so American movie or British movie or South African movies yeah. um, or Canadian movies. But, uh, or what else do you listen to to try to practice? So when I was really small, I like to watch Monty Python videos. Okay. Um, <laughs> I remember funny. going to a friend's house and I would basically watch, binge watch entire uh, DVDs and we'd run through like in an afternoon an entire season of Monty Python and we'd try to imitate the British accent. And I think that was one of the, um, one of my first um, exposures to a Different. sound that I wasn't used to because I grew up in Canada so I was used to um, saying water really fast I say water and I kind of just like I don't pronounce water. the the T very much I, I do but it's not very um, was loud. it was it easy uh, at the beginning to understand the British accent? Not really. It was a lot of fun though. Um, especially in North America, so in Canada or in the United States, for the most part, when you watch a movie or a show, the British people or the British sounding people, maybe they're actors, they always sound more intelligent. <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> Even if they're saying something silly, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they, they could be the, um, the smart evil villain in a movie. Oh, yes. 
yeah yeah i think for me at the beginning it was quite kind of difficult um, because i lived in the north of england and they have a very strong accent so they don't say one for example they say one what uh, part but i got used to their accent okay. when i was learning and then i got uh, some people from America coming and I was working in a restaurant and they asked me for water what? and I, I had to ask them I think at least four times before I actually understood what they were asking me for um, that's why I believe it's very important to listen to different accents because yeah, yeah. if you get stuck with just one uh, then you cannot get used to all the world accents so uh, Italians you wouldn't understand them uh, people from India you wouldn't understand them while well, living in England it helped me a lot because it's multicultural so I had to speak with people from Poland or from Germany and that helped me a lot now to understand anyone really I have got an interview tomorrow for a new job. I am so nervous. What right. advice have you got for me? All right. Uh, first of all, tell me, um, what, what's the job you're going for? It's a marketing job. Marketing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to give you some basic um, pieces of advice. I would say don't be late. That's the first one. Uh, arrive there at least 15 minutes before the interview. Um, I would also give you some advice regarding what you're going to wear, maybe. Um, don't be too eccentric. Um, I mean, of course you need to be who you are, but I would uh, pay attention to, to that. Um, yeah, I think so. What are you most worried about? Um, I get very nervous around people I don't know. Well, I understand. The same happens to me. But I think that you... Uh, do you really want this job? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, it's a company I like a lot. I admire them very much. All right, well, so um, even if you're going to be a bit nervous, try to think in your goal. I want to get this job, so I need to make the most of this interview. Um, it gets hard to focus when there's a lot of pressure. When I feel pressure, I start to get stressed and make mistakes. How do you deal with stress? Wow, that's a, a very difficult question, but I would say try to focus your attention on one thing at a time. And think about this. This is a question I need to answer now. All the other things are not important. Focus, focus. Okay, should um, I don't have a car. My mum will drive me. Should I bring her with me? Of course not. No? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, not to the actual interview. Uh, she could wait for you having a coffee maybe uh, somewhere. Uh, but no, I wouldn't. No. No. <laughs> and what about um, any other tricks or tips for when I'm inside? Well, um, they might ask you what uh, your weak points are. That's very trendy. <laughs> now I have so many. I am never on time. I don't finish my work always. And I like to take days off. Uh, I wouldn't say that. No? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would think about uh, what your weaknesses are and then choose what you're going to say if this is an interview. Don't say, I never finish my work. So, if you had to think, um, 
choose one weakness, what would it be? 